Valley versus the Wild, we will cook bacon over an open fire out in the middle of the wilderness with our only companions, two wild dogs. I've done this episode of Hillbilly versus Wild has tamed a wild bear cub. I've named him Linus. <laughs> He's following me. I'm being attacked. Ah! Look at those teeth. Oh, no. Now he's out now. See if I can teach him a trick. Ah, that's very good. I've trained a bear to shake hands. Next phase of Hillbilly's Unleashed with the bacon near completion. Our next phase is to cook some of these wild Irish potatoes and hand-picked ostrich eggs. Part three of Hillbilly's Gone Wild, we have the potatoes cooking over the open fire. We have several species of wild ostrich eggs here. The one from Northern Australia, the green one from Southern Australia, and the brown ones from Western New York. In our next episode of Hillbilly's vs. the Wild, we have prepared the bacon, we have the home fries almost prepared, and we are starting to cook the wild ostrich eggs while our wild dog guards us from intruders. With the final touches going on the eggs here on Hillbilly's Gone Wild, we are preparing for breakfast. So we have completed the complete Hillbilly meal, cooked completely over an open fire with bacon, ostrich eggs, and wild Irish potatoes. I have woken all the Hillbillies that have worked the late night shift at the still. So we have some moonshine we're going to drink along with it, except for the final Hillbilly over there. As you can see, the tent's moving and it's thrashing around. <laughs> Hillbilly! Hillbilly in the tent! <laughs> Hillbilly in the tent! Wake up, Hillbilly! Hillbilly, wake up! Thank you.